Hello developers, welcome back to our channel. My name is Harish Kumar. Today we are going to dive in into the heart of React.js, that is components. React components are like the building blocks of your web app. They make your website look and behave just the way you want. In this video, we will explore what React components are and why they are so important and I will also show you two ways of creating React components. One using functional component and other using class components. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting React tutorials. Now let's get started. So what exactly are React components? Well, they are like the pieces of a puzzle. Each piece has its own job to making the big picture of your website. React components help keep your code neat and organized. They make it easier to understand and work on. Think of them as handy tools that do a specific job. React components represent different parts of the user interface and can be nested within each other for reusability. The application can have multiple components such as uh, it can have a header, a sidebar, main content, footer and a root component. There are two types of components in React. First we have function components, second type is class components. Let's start with the function components. So how do we create function component? It is straightforward. You create a JavaScript function that returns some JSX. In the previous video, we have already covered JSX. In case you have missed that tutorial, make sure to watch that video first. Now let's create a function component. So in the previous video, we have created this components directory and in this component directory, we have created a hello.jsx. And here you can see, it is a simple function that returns a JSX. Let's create a one more component. Let's say a website can have a header. So let's create a header.jsx. And in this file, we will create a header function. So first, export default and then function header and it will return a jsx let's say in our case in the div tag and then we have a h1 tag and print header component and that is all we need now to use this let's go to app component app.jsx and here we will import from the components directory header component and then we can use this header component like a tag so here we can say header tag and then close this now in the browser here we have header component and this hello harish is from the hello component we can reuse this component anywhere in the application. In the header.jsx, this header function optionally accepts props. These props are an object of properties. We will talk about props in detail in the future videos. So for now, let's remove it. This is a very basic React component. It is just a function called header. So when React see this header component tag, it will call this function and that function returns some JSX and React will show this in the web page like this. Once you have created your React component, you can use it all over your web page. It's like using same tool in different places to do same job. We can also create this header component using javascript arrow function so let's see this also so first let's comment this and now here we will say const header is equal to arrow function 
and it will return this JSX. So copy this and paste it here and now uncomment this. Next we will need to export this. So export default header. It will work exactly same. So in the browser we have header component. Let's change it to arrow function and in the browser we have arrow function component. Instead of this return statement we can also return it like this. So first remove this return and then remove these curly brackets. Save this and it will work exactly same. In the browser we have arrow function component. To see the difference let's remove this arrow from here and now in the browser it should print function component. So this is our basic function component. Now let's see how we can create class component. So let's say we have a new component let's say navbar dot jsx a class component is a javascript class that extends react component so to create class component first let's import react from react next class navbar now this class should extend react component so here we will say extends react dot component like this next we need to export default nav bar now inside this class we should have a renderer method and this method returns the jsx we want to display so let's add renderer and it returns jsx so let's say in the h1 tag nav bar now let's say in the root app component here import navbar from components navbar next let's add this navbar tag right here now in the browser we have navbar so now when the react will see this navbar component it will call this renderer method that returns a jsx now instead of this extend react dot component we can say we can extend component and then let's import component in curly brackets like this it will also work so now in the browser refresh it is working to notice the difference let's say navbar class component now in the browser it should print navbar class component great so here important part is that a class should extend component from the react and it should have a renderer method that returns jsx now the question is when to use function component and class components in modern react use function components for most scenarios they are simpler require less code and have powerful state management with hooks. Class components are reserved for situation that demands legacy life cycles, third party library integration or complex state management. The React team recommends function components with hooks for new projects. The key difference between function components and class components are the function components are written as JavaScript functions and the class components written as ES6 classes that extends react.component class. The function components are simpler and more concise. On the other hand, class components are little complex than the function components. The function component uses the React hooks for state management and the class component uses state management using this dot state we will talk about state management in the upcoming videos the function components are preferred for most use cases in the modern react and the class components are still used in older react code base but function components with hooks are the modern standard this is all in this tutorial if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more react tutorial 
stay tuned for our next videos where we will explore props and states have questions or ideas drop a comment below thanks for watching and happy coding mm -hmm.